Hey guys, uh, this is Ali Salanki and uh, I'm a YouTuber. I've been creating videos on YouTube for the past uh, two to three years and uh, I am specifically in the crypto and finance niche. So um, in this particular session, what I'll be doing is giving my two cents on whatever I've learned uh, throughout my journey and uh, help you with the same. So uh, let's start it off. I hope everyone over here wants to become a pro YouTuber and has started creating content as well. So let's see uh, how we can actually grow it further and uh, what are the steps that you need to take in order to become a pro YouTuber. So uh, what will we discuss in this session? Uh, we'll be planning and designing the YouTube channel uh, right from scratch. The second thing is the video production, uh, scripting, editing, recording, every single thing. And then the last thing would be what to do after you have posted your video. Sometimes what happens is uh, even if the videos are pretty good, uh, they don't get a lot of traction. So we'll be trying to uh, dive deep into how to get traction and how to get views as well. So let's start with the first and the most basic thing, which is planning and designing the channel itself. So what do you need to plan out in the start? So the first thing that you need to plan out is your niche. Now, when I had started my YouTube channel, I didn't have a niche in uh, per se. Uh, I was just posting random content. I was posting the top 10 Hollywood movies to watch. I was posting uh, uh, how to, you know, uh, plan for MHTCT exams and every single thing that I was doing, I was just randomly posting it out. Uh, I saw that this was not a good strategy and later I then niche down into the things that I really like which is crypto and finance and that's where I started to uh, get a lot of traction as well. Um, the second thing is knowing your target audience. Would a person who is over 60 years of age watch my content? Probably not. Uh, my content is specifically targeted for audience who are in the in the finance in the crypto niche and that is uh, usually people who are just uh, doing their engineering or want to explore new innovative uh, technologies that is my target audience so define this target audience uh, i would even go uh, further to say even um, describe what they uh, like eating what is the time frame uh, during which they are generally online uh, you know try to be as specific as possible with your target audience for me i saw that uh, usually engineering students uh, are active in the evenings so that is where i post my uh, videos as well uh, plus they are also active during the night time so even after 12 is when they are active so whenever i want to schedule a live stream uh, i usually schedule it after say 11 or 12. Uh, after that we have the upload frequency now upload frequency does not mean that you need to post every single day and you need to record new content and that's how you will gain uh, a lot of followers or uh, subscribers rather upload frequency should be set by you so even if you are able to post say one video per week for the rest of the six days that you have try to market that video and try to gain audience for that particular video but the quality should be matching that uh, level of frequency as well so the lower the frequency the higher the quality of the videos now uh, these are the five questions that you need to ask yourself and i would uh, highly recommend you guys to just note these things down or take a screenshot uh, if you can first thing what is your channel about niche and category this is the first thing that we talked about in the planning of uh, the channel right the second thing is who is your target uh, audience or your targeted viewer their age interests and try to be as specific as possible third is how is your channel different from similar channels what is the unique thing that you are providing so uh, here is the part where you need to understand that even if you are not an expert say you're not an expert in finance i'm not uh, a financial guru that i can you know talk about the most complex of the things but what sets my channel apart is that uh, i'm a person just like you who's uh, trying to learn new things and i'm sharing as i'm learning so this is what keeps my audience hooked onto the videos because they think yaar ye to apna hi banda hai matlab wo same hi cheez aa rahi hai wahan se so this is one of the things that you should have anything unique that you're providing just dial down on it and make sure that your channel reflects that 
the fourth thing is why are you starting this channel in the first place for me it was uh, to be confident in front of the camera uh, to speak in english fluently it was not to you know gain money or gain fame or anything so just have that why are you starting this channel even if it's money we will talk about this particular question but even if it's money uh, we will get to know how you can make money uh, through your content and you can tailor your video so that it gains the most amount of money for example if your main aim is to uh, you know have a stable income through content creation then uh, targeting vlogs targeting comedic uh, videos would not be the best strategy to move forward because that has the lowest cpm that has the lowest uh, cost per mile that means uh, you get paid the least when you are creating content in those specific categories after that how will you find time to make videos now uh, this is a question that you should ask yourself if you're uh, you know managing a bunch of different things if you're an engineering student it becomes quite tough to manage uh, your studies your uh, content your every single thing so just have a fixed time slot to make uh, content and that would solve that uh, it's all about time management uh, nothing uh, fancy over there now let's break down each of these questions actually i just uh, broke down all of these questions but uh, the first thing obviously what is your channel about be specific have a niche second thing who is your targeted audience for me it's tech crypto and finance so specifically this is targeted to teenagers and young adults so i make content thinking about them uh, third how is your channel different from others this is usp uh, your unique selling proposition so e uh, even in the business space if you are creating a product you need to have a unique selling proposition you should have something unique to offer so that that product uh, also does well in the market treat your content as product so here also you need to make sure that your content has something different to offer uh, than the other people uh next up we have why are you starting this channel most of the answers that uh, people have is money so even if it's money make sure uh, you're targeting your uh, content so that it generates the most amount of money so decisions like should i make content in english or should i make content in hindi um, should be based on which will gain uh, get me the most amount of money most amount of money is in english content because it's viewed by uh, by countries which are paying uh, higher cpm usually you'll get 10x more money than a person who's creating the same content uh, in hindi after that how will you find time for the videos as i said um, you know if you're juggling a lot of different things try to divide it uh, so here as uh, it's written divide your videos into small tasks so for example if i'm creating a content i would try to make my script i would then try to do my editing then uh, publishing and in publishing also it takes a lot of time because you have to make the thumbnails you have to uh, write the whole description make sure it is seo specific seo means uh, search engine optimization so that it ranks better in your uh, search results and all of these different things we'll be going over each of them uh, later down the slides but uh, just wanted to mention it over here so if you were uh, able to answer these specific questions make sure to take a screenshot and uh, write these things down for yourself so what is your channel about what is your target audience and all of these things um uh, next up so planning is done uh, we'll be going over to the designing part of it here we'll also be talking about the seo part which is uh, for the description and title and all so the first thing is logo logo basically is what will define your channel and whenever someone uh, sees that logo they would start to develop that trust they will be uh, like okay this video is by ali that means this video would have something good to offer and that's why they will click on your videos as well so make sure you're not changing your logos a lot and make sure you're treating it as your brand image you've never seen uh, bmw or mercedes change their log logo altogether why do they don't do that because uh, they have developed that trust with that logo so uh, make sure you're not changing your logo too frequently and treat it as your brand now a quick poll that i wanted to do with you guys and i want to make this interactive as well is um, what do you think is better you've seen videos on youtube you've seen videos uh, on uh, different pl platforms uh, what do you think is better a logo 
or a portrait photo so portrait basically is like a face image uh, that you can see uh, on youtubers profiles so is that better or having a logo with no uh, frame in mind like no uh, person's frame in mind let's see the chart portrait portrait many people portrait logo okay so uh, to be honest this depends on uh, the type of content that you're trying to um, make for example if you're trying to create content which is uh, more of animation based content which does not involve you as a person in the videos then going with a logo would be better but uh, if you're going with something like uh, a personal brand uh, or trying to build a personal brand then your face matters a lot i would say wherever you can try to put your face out and try to be as involved even i see many people don't uh, like to take pictures with other people or uh, don't like to post their own pictures on instagram on or wherever uh, try to do that if you're building a personal brand because that will uh, always help why can't we change the logo to a portrait once we are kind of relevant um i would say that see as i said these logos and these uh, things are your brand images so if you change it uh, it would have a lot of resistance from the audience the audience will obviously not like it at the start but if you are keeping it as uh the logo is you know this is definite and we will not be changing it further or something like that then uh, maybe it might work but i would definitely tell you not to change it once you've fixed your logo or your portrait or whatever it is channel banner so if you've seen on youtube uh, there's this channel banner that comes up when you are subscribing to a channel um that should be as basic as possible and it should be um showing off what your channel uh, channel's vibe is for example uh, here are two examples paddy galloway uh, he is a famous youtuber and uh, tries to make uh, youtube and business simpli- uh, in a simplified manner so if you see his videos even in his videos white color is uh, too much in uh, the background and uh, in his videos uh, plus he is talking about youtube right so in his uh, this channel banner as well you would see the two main colors that are coming up are black and red uh, even the coat that he is wearing is a red colored one so this shows off that this is something related to youtube and uh, something like that so make sure you are matching your brand with the kind of energy that you want to portray Uh, apart from that we have isai photo uh, here he has played a very cool trick with the channel banner which is he's trying to beat uh, the number of subscribers the rock has so uh, he has written down the rock has these many subscribers and we'll be beating uh, the rock in his uh, number of subscribers so that is kind of like a cool way in order to motivate subscribers to actually press that uh, subscribe button and uh, you know press that bell icon as well next up we have what can you add in channel banner so all of the things that i said other than that you can also add the uploading time so your frequency of uploading videos and uh, also the tagline of the channel now yes do not do not overfill your banner make sure you're sticking to the point and not uh, putting in too many things as well uh by the way just wanted to mention i will be taking a q and a session at the end of this entire thing so make sure you're sticking till the end and ask me any doubts that you have over there um next up we have the link tree uh, thing so bio.link is one of the service that uh, you can see you can even create your own website wherein you know you have listed all of your uh, links and all the things that you're doing um but yeah so basically have something Uh, to uh, have the audience captivate and uh, make sure that uh, you have all your links listed at one place or the other so that you know you can put it in your bio you can put it in your uh, youtube channel as well so i'll uh, i'll be showing it in the description part but uh, just mentioning it make sure you have such uh, links created for that service you can use bio.link and linktree as well next up we have description so we are finally there on description after talking so much about it but uh, description is kind of like the most important part uh, i would say after the content and uh, the video itself um 
the reason for it is because i have seen most of my views come from the search results itself so i guess over 80% of my views are coming from search results and that is because my descriptions are really really in depth and they are uh, seo friendly as well so uh, usually all of my videos are uh, trending on the first uh, result only so if you are searching for say cat exam or if you are searching for um, how to make a cryptocurrency usually my first vi- my videos would be in the top 5 results um, directly so that's how you get views as well so make sure your uh, description uh, is short creative i will be showing some examples as well but it also has a cl- call to action and i'll be showing what i mean by that so here as you can see uh, let me just zoom in yeah so this is uh, one of my descriptions of a recent video that i had posted which is about web 5 so uh, here i've used two main uh, paragraphs first paragraph talks about what the video is about and uh, what i am going to be talking about uh, second paragraph usually has pointers or things that can um, you know summarize the entire video in just a few bullet points so make sure the first two paragraphs are there describing the video after that uh, there's a link to another video of mine uh, which is similar to this video so if you want to learn about web 5 first learn about web3 so here you can learn about web3 and this is my video so you can just click over here after that is the index so people uh, get those time stamps so this is a format in which uh, you have to write in your descriptions in order to see um, the time stamps on your videos as well after that we have a bunch of links uh, which people can click on and uh, you know there are some affiliate links as well from where you can even make money and then uh, there are links to the things that i'm using in my uh, background and all of those things so ring light ring light is over here uh, then there's rgb background lights moonlight lamp and all of those things and then we have the tags hashtags and then the last thing is the uh, cta so any person who has viewed uh, my description till the very end is actually the most uh, probable person to hit that subscribe button so that's why i've kept the cta to the uh, last uh, last place wherein they've got to know about all of my details they've uh, known about okay this is the kind of person uh, he is and this is the kind of videos that he makes now uh, he has been given a reminder to like this video and also to subscribe by pressing the bell icon so now he will be uh, most likely to do that as well so make sure you're not using those cta's and everything right at the start even in the videos when you make the videos don't be like um, okay i'll be talking about uh, you know web 5 and please do like this video and subscribe to this channel no don't do that St- uh, start the video by giving value by uh, actually talking about the subject and then uh around at the end of the video or maybe in the middle of the video that's where you have to say uh like this video or subscribe and uh, give a proper cta call to action next up uh designing done uh we are there on video production now uh sorry if i'm not taking any of your uh, messages but uh, i will be keeping a q and a session at the end so keep your uh, questions and everything listed down by yourself and uh, we'll be going over that as well so let's start with video production every second of your video must be worth watching basically anything that you feel like okay i feel uh, this is getting quite boring and uh, if i'm saying the same thing again and again for example uh, i'm saying every second of your video must be worth watching and then i again repeated by saying your video must be very engaging your videos uh, should have the person of uh, viewing each and every second uh, of it and stuff like that then it makes no sense i'm just repeating the same thing again and again so just cut those things out just say it once and then cut the entire part which is you know uh, repetition of the whole idea if the video is good to go without uh, without those cuts uh, then just remove it and don't keep it in uh, the video 
everything should be giving value to the uh, viewer that's uh, watching your videos so that's why i don't even uh, do a lot of live streams because on live streams and like uh, like this particular session uh, i might be able to condense this entire session into just a uh, 5 to 10 minute video and that would have all the value at least uh, almost all the value uh, that i want to portray in this particular session so uh, that's the kind of thing that you need to aim for Next up, uh, the process and brief, how I record my videos, how I do all of those things. First, planning, planning and ideating. So first ideate, then write the scripts, record, um, collect visuals. And if you have like a really proper uh, video wherein, you know, you are uh, putting in uh, B-rolls and all of those things, then collect those visuals, edit it and then distribute it, promote it uh, to all of your uh, social media handles. Uh, next up, we have ideating and planning. So, uh, as I said, make a Notion page or a Google document and write your video ideas as soon as they strike you. Because it won't be like you sit one day and then just write down 50 to 100 video ideas and uh, that's it, you know, you start recording it. Uh, it will never happen this way. You have to write it as uh, and when they strike you. So that's why I prefer Notion page or Google Doc because it is also available on your mobile phone and you can write it down. But you can even use your pen and paper and just write it down wherever you can. Um, next up, we have the script writing part. So in the start, I used to write a detailed script. There are two types of scripts, by the way, bullet script and detail script. And I'll be showing examples of each one of them. But uh, in the start, I used to write detailed scripts, basically used to write every single word that I'll be speaking in this particular video. For example, uh, how to write a perfect CV or a resume. This is one of my friends CV and she wanted to apply to a social media marketing job, right? I'm saying all the things that are that is uh, written over there. So this helps in uh, not uh, having too many re-records and this also helps in uh, editing your videos faster because you don't have to make so many cuts. But then the other part uh, is a bullet script. This I specifically use when I want to put out the content as fast as possible and I don't have a lot of time to, you know, um, make the whole script and uh, do all of those things. So then uh, I would try to keep it as natural as possible and I'll try to uh, talk about it uh, in the most authentic way and uh, not write a proper script, but only just bullet points. Even in bullet points, make sure first thing uh now first thing need not be introduction but uh, i usually like to have the hook as the first thing because no one is coming on this video to know what uh, who who are you or uh, what is your channel all about they don't want to know about that that is only after you've given something uh, in return uh, first you've given some value then you can maybe talk about your channel and why they should subscribe to it as i said uh, liking your video subscribing to your channel only happens at the end of the video or in the middle don't put it in the start uh, then there are examples asking the audience about their opinion cta uh, telling them to comment um, and all of those things next up we have recording and shooting so um, make sure your audio is as good as possible make sure it is crisp make sure it is uh, hitting all of the uh, requirements and uh, there is no noise there is no you know uh, sound um, leaks or anything uh, it should be perfect now with the video video will keep on improving uh, as in when you grow as a youtuber but audio should be the first priority uh, always so um, then uh, we have the lighting so in the video you will always have to invest more uh, audio you can just have say uh, one mic and that's it you know uh, there's not a lot of uh, investment that is uh, needed yeah so as i was saying um, in video you might have to spend a lot you might have to spend on lightings uh, this lighting key light uh, background lights uh, even the decorations that you're seeing uh, all of those things would take up a lot of uh, money but in audio you just have a mic you know this is my mic that's it so uh, mics don't cost a lot and uh, the kind of qu uh, quality that they give is also quite high so one mic is all you need after that uh, video 
in the lighting part i would say sunlight plays a, a huge role right now i'm using my ring light because uh, it's evening but um, i usually record in the sunlight sunlight is the best source of light because uh, first thing you want to have a source of light which has a wider space for example a ring light will have only a small space which is that small ring right uh, if you have a bigger ring light it's always better because it's throwing out light in a much more flat version the sun is the biggest source of light out there so that's why uh, you have that soft light effect uh, here you will have this hard light effect which shows off uh, your you know uh, oils and it it shows off uh, a reflective surface <clears throat> of your skin so uh, try to have a uh, soft light in your videos so um bad example of light angle first thing you need not have the light coming right on your face uh it should not be behind your face as well the main light should always be in front of you um try to keep it at a 45 degree angle right now it's over there so this is where the light is coming from so 45 degree angle on top of you and uh, coming on your face that's the best kind of light that you can have um over here the background background try to keep it as um, filling as possible i should not be sitting very close to the uh, wall and this is because it gives you a depth effect as well so uh, try to have a larger background and try to have distance uh, between your background and yourself the subject audio audio try to sit uh, in your bedroom that's the best one because uh, bedrooms generally have cushions they have uh, you know sound uh, proof material which is like uh, carpets and all of those things so because of that uh, sound does not uh, have that uh, echo effect uh so if you have a place where in you know you don't have a lot of things then there will be qu uh, quite a lot of echo that comes in so make sure uh, if you're just starting out try to sit in your bedroom that's the best place uh if you can afford to have a studio then uh, try to uh, sound isolate it or uh, do such things but uh, in the start just sit in your bedroom and record your videos that's the best thing I had recorded almost 100 videos on my channel in just my bedroom editing how do you edit your videos so there are a few software recommendations that I would give for the free ones and uh, for easy to use I would say a Vita app is one that I'm currently using uh, on my mobile phone uh, then we have Kindmaster it's for mobile as well as uh, this thing and uh, then for the paid one we have filmora x uh, that is something that you can use uh, for my long form content videos i'm using davinci resolve it's completely free uh, you can also have a paid version for it but you don't need it uh, as of now um, i'm still using the free version uh, at this moment as well and then we have the paid version which is adobe premiere pro uh, and uh, others as well so just take a screenshot if you want uh, this is a cool slide after that we have the transitions sound effects visuals so visuals where do you find it from there are a bunch of uh, websites but uh, the one that i use is pixel so p i x e l i think that's th that's how it's called so you find a lot of uh, free visuals from there uh, for the sound effects you would usually get it from the software that you're using uh, the video editing software that you're using and uh, for the transitions as well it's already available in the video editing software all the uh, software that i've mentioned they uh, generally have it next thumbnail thumbnail that's my favorite topic to talk about because this is something that i experiment with a lot and uh, the best thing that i've seen <coughs> is try to keep your thumbnail uh, as loud as possible if you were to see these two particular thumbnails even on your mobile phone you would be easily able to spot what i'm trying to say uh, web 5 kill web 3 that's it uh, top 10 programming languages that's it and even if you weren't able to see those programming languages because it's such a huge word uh, you would at least be able to see those uh, elements that is javascript rust uh, c sharp uh, then i think that's um, typescript and then dart so all of those programming languages you are able to recognize those uh, 
particular icons so try to have that and uh, over here try to um, showcase a story over here uh, in kill web 3 the second thumbnail you would see that i'm surprised that uh, because i'm a web 3 developer my job is you know uh, all about web 3 and uh, development and all of those things now this guy uh, who is jack dorsey the co-founder of twitter uh, he's saying kill web 3 so i'm shocked uh, by that particular thing and that's why i've given that particular expression and it has gotten quite a good uh, click through rate as well so make sure you're conveying a story with your uh, thumbnails uh, places where you can't uh, where you can't uh, do that is like top 10 programming languages you can't convey a story but you can at least tell them that this is what you will be finding in this particular video and uh, i'll be talking about only this thing title so i have some examples of title uh, we have tarun uh, and then we have any uh, thing also uh, I like his uh, visuals and all um, so how to write thumbnails here you can see the harsh word the harsh reality of studying in an IIT harsh word is all in capitals uh, even over here the only skill any creator needs so only skill and creator are in uh, capital this makes a kind of uh, effect wherein you are able to see those particular words clearly and even those convey uh, the entire story of what he's trying to say because people don't have a lot of attention span they'll be just sc scrolling through and they might only catch up of, on uh, one or two words from your title so make sure your title is as short as possible and also uh, conveys the most amount of story as well so that is what you need to do uh, treat your uh, thumbnails and your uh, title as real estate property you have only certain real estate that is 100 uh, characters ka limit rata hai for the title and uh, you have only one thumbnail wherein you have that um, what uh, 180 by 180 pixel ka uh, dimensions so use every single pixel in your thumbnail use every single word every single character uh, of your title to convey that story so uh, that is what you should be doing uh, next is video description Video description may bohat bada real estate. Hai. You can put as many things as possible. So use it, right? Don't let it go to waste. If it has a huge, uh, you know, uh, thing to place, uh, try to put as many things as possible. First, as I said, talk about your topic. Second, timestamp, call to action, put in as many things as possible. And also put in tags and hashtags. It helps a lot in SEO. Um, over here, there are some uh, examples. So, I have talked about the topic in the first two I have talked about the topic in the first two paragraphs and then there are some things. After that, we have links. So, follow me. All my links are available over here. Then we have equipments, which is over here. So, all the things that I, you know, want to uh, share or uh, things in my background. And then we have the tags. So tags you can directly copy it from the tag section in the video. So when you upload a video, there'll be a uh, section wherein you can add your tags. Just copy it and paste it over here. So uh, make sure you're using, I think the limit is 500 characters for the tags. So make sure you're using at least 400 to 450 uh, characters in that particular thing. And then for hashtags, keep three to four hashtags and keep it uh, around the topic. So for example, if I'm teaching about cryptocurrencies, the hashtag would be cryptos. Uh, if I'm teaching about NFTs, the hashtag would be NFT. Uh, even if it's something very specific in the NFT space, I would keep it to a general uh, hashtag. So try to keep it to a general hashtag. Even if it's talking about a particular NFT, uh, for example, I'm talking about Bode Piotr Club. So that is a particular NFT. Even if I'm talking about that, I'll keep the hashtag to NFTs, which contains all types of NFTs. So that is what I was trying to say. Keep hashtags to general uh, topics, not specifics. And uh, always in hashtags, use one hashtag for your name. Uh, that is a must. What to do after posting? So there'll be some tips, YouTube algorithm and uh, how to be uh, how to become good and a popular creator as well. Let's talk about it. So first tip, share your content with only the people who watch your videos. Now in the start, you can break this rule. You can uh, share it with all of your family members, all of your friends and everyone who, you know, might watch your videos. 
not till the end but uh, they might support you or like the videos or subscribe to your channel try to share it but after a certain point i would say after you cross 100 subscribers or 150 subscribers stop sharing it stop sharing it on um, personal groups like whatsapp groups uh, stop sharing it uh, in groups wherein it's not the same content for example if i'm making a video about web5 i would share it in groups which have developers which have coders which are who are interested in that particular uh, content itself if they are not interested in it they will click on it and then they would not watch the video till the end they'll just watch say one or two seconds of it and then they leave so what this will do is create a negative impact on your youtube channel uh, youtube would think that this is just a scam video wherein uh, it has some uh, thumbnail which is clickable but then in the video it's not matching the thumbnail whereas it is matching the thumbnail but the audience is not right so uh, just make sure you're uh, not sharing it with people who might not watch your videos second collaborate with other creators uh, do podcasts podcasts are the best way to collaborate um, other than that i would also say uh, collaborate on other platforms so for example instagram has a good um, Instagram as a platform is very good for collaborations. YouTube might not be the best platform because you'd have to record, you know, podcasts and all of those things. Uh, but if you're just starting out, uh, I would say try to include as many people as possible and try to collaborate on your Instagram stories and then bring the audience from there. Third, uh, try trending challenges. So trending challenges uh, also works well on uh, Instagram, but on YouTube, I would say uh, with challenges i mean um, trending topics so stay updated with the news i knew web5 is coming out and uh, you know i had kept all of my notifications on as soon as web5 came out i posted a video about it uh, as soon as something in your niche comes out make sure you're posting a video about it and not letting it go uh, sometimes what happens is uh, you feel like you're too late to create that content. Um, you, you feel like, uh, you know, uh, it has been two th days, it has been three days. Uh, who gives a damn about watching this particular video? Everyone knows about it, but that's not true. Uh, even after, say, five, six days uh, of that news coming out, I would say more than that, um, the news is always relevant if it's a big news then uh, always create content on uh, top of it and even people who might you know come on your channel afterwards they might watch those videos uh, after that we have engaged with audience on comments through live stream or q a i've seen many people who have this ego uh, wherein they would not uh, you know interact with their audience they would not uh, comment back they would not help them uh, through their you know uh, comment section I feel this is the worst thing even now even uh, right now any comment that I get um, I have at least viewed it if I'm not replied to it I've at least viewed it and I've gotten what they are trying to say I make sure uh, that I try to reply to as many people as possible uh, through my comment section because these are the people who are following you uh, so make sure you're doing that justice to them and um, commenting back uh, helping them uh, solve their doubts and uh, those things and also do live streams q a when you hit your milestone say for example you've hit uh, 1000 subscribers do a live stream do a q a and uh, talk more about what this channel is all about i found this tweet by mr beast he had posted this uh, in 2018 um, so youtube algorithm is just two things uh, actually three things now but uh, let's talk about it first is ctr ctr means click through rate how many people are clicking on your thumbnail after viewing it 20 person means um, out of 100 people who have watched your thumbnail who have scrolled through your thumbnail 20 people have clicked on that thumbnail and uh, watched your videos it can be for 10 seconds 20 seconds 30 seconds whatever it is they have at least clicked on that video so 20 percent ctr is like quite high and uh, if you get that kind of uh, CTR, that's really good. Second thing he talks about is seven minute average view duration, AVD. Now, AVD basically uh, is how much uh, of the video are people watching on an average. For example, if the video is of 10 minutes, they are watching till uh, seven minutes. That's the AVD. So 
द हायर द ए वी डी द हायर द सी टी आर द बेटर यूट्यूब विल स्टार्ट प्रोमोटिंग इट एंड यू विल स्टार्ट सींग दीज रिजल्ट एज वेल हाउ डू यू डू दीज थिंग्स सी टी आर थमनेल टाइटल एंड द टॉपिक सो दीज थ्री थिंग्स इफ एवरी थिंग इज बेस्ट सी टी आर वुड बी कमिंग आउट ऑफ द रूफ सेकेंड थिंग एवरेज व्यू ड्यूरेशन फॉर एवरेज व्यू ड्यूरेशन यू नीड टू हैव अ गुड स्टोरी लाइन um as i said remove all the boring parts so cut out all the boring parts third thing the edits should be really really engaging for example if i'm right now talking to you guys right so if i was doing this i would uh, put in a zoom in effect i would do some transitions every single second i would uh, do some kind of thing so even if i'm saying um, average view duration there would be a text popping up which would say avd right so try to add as many engaging elements as possible the more time you spend on editing your videos the more engaging it will come out uh, that's the uh, rule that i have follow next up we have how to be a good and popular creator be unique uh, be unique uh, be consistent and make quality content uh these are the three main things that you need to focus on uh this is on large but of course you need to focus on your content you need to focus on uh, a bunch of different things as well like seo and all of those things but these three things if you focus on them uh this should be a good starting point for you guys next if you aren't frequently posting your content for example i don't post my content every single day uh then try to make the quality really good try to work on the background try to work on the uh, level of uh, videos that are you that you are posting uh try to work on the content that you are posting and it should be unique uh second thing if it's not unique then do the consistent work right keep posting content keep posting frequently uh and if you're not doing uh, say quality work if you're not adding so many things in your background if you're not uh, putting out a good quality uh, video then and try to post frequently and try to iterate over it so i i feel that the third kind of uh, creators are the ones that uh, kind of have the most amount of chance of going viral um i have not seen uh, a lot of creators who are in the first two niches uh, to do really well right at the start uh, they also taken a lot of time in order to you know uh, iterate over their content and uh, know what type of content uh, their audience likes so make sure you uh, if you are starting out make sure you are focusing on the third part which is even if it's not quality work be consistent be uh, frequent in your uploads and also be unique so after production is done and we will go over to the q and a part let's like swapnil shukla go ahead yeah hi ali can you hear me yeah yeah, yeah actually i had had a doubt so are the these things uh, are the same that can be followed for instagram and for posting all these things uh the tricks that you told me yeah so um uh, as far as uh, hashtags and stuff goes i would say the number of hashtags would increase for instagram uh, i think it's around 11 to 12 hashtags are quite good um you can check out my uh, thing over there as well uh, but for yeah, seo yeah, i do follow you but the thing is that instagram algorithm is quite different if we compare it to youtube yeah. and i was just curious about that yeah yeah it's quite different but it is different in terms of uh, what type of content goes viral uh when it comes to the description when it comes to the hashtags and all of those things uh it is quite similar because it's a search engine platform that you're trying to target right so even if it's google even if it's facebook even if it's uh, instagram whatever it is uh the same things would uh, work on all the all those platforms but when it comes to content for example on instagram you would see infotainment uh, content does not do that well as compared to uh, content which is entertainment based which is uh, fun based uh, whereas on youtube you would see info information packed content does really well because it's searchable yeah so okay, that's it okay thank you yeah. thank you all yeah uh next uh, next that would be unmuting uh, prerna deep hey ali hi Yeah, I can hear you. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So my question to you is, what are the equipments a beginner must have starting a YouTube channel? Like, what camera would you recommend, and software for thumbnails and logo? And what did you personally use? Yeah. So I'm personally still using my phone. Um, I started out with uh, Samsung Galaxy's uh, phone. Uh, used to record it on the back camera. 
and uh, now i'm using uh, my iphone the uh, the reason why i have not shifted towards uh, recording on a camera uh, the main reason is because there are a lot of obstacles for example if i'm recording on a camera i would then have to export it uh, put it on my laptop there's a lot of different things that i need to do in order to uh, so i try to have the quickest way as possible because um, when it comes to creating content uh, the smoothest journey is the best way forward so uh, with my uh, phone as well i can record it wherever i'm going um if say for example i want to record my vlogs or something that i'm doing uh, i can just put pull it out and record it so don't focus too much over there i would say record it start recording it with your uh, phone itself and uh, for the mic this is uh, boya m m m1 and um, i'm i'm using this since the start so this is my favorite mic thank you and what about the software that you use for logo and thumbnails uh for my uh, thumbnails i used uh, use canva so canva is quite uh, fast when it comes to making thumbnails um uh, you can add all of those things without having to dive too deep into uh, you know if you make thumbnails on photoshop you'd have to do each and everything by yourself um add those designs and everything but on canva it's already made and you can just go ahead and uh, do that so that's why i use canva Right. Thank you, Ali. Okay. Thank you for answering that. Next. How did you promote your channel? How did I promote it? Um, just let me stop it. Um, so for promotions, How the first. How did you gain many subscribers and all? Mm hmm. So Audience. the first thing, it's um never like a spike in my uh, subscriber base or anything. Uh, it has always been a steady growth. So um, it has not been like. you know in the start but i'll tell you what uh, has been happening behind the scenes and what i've been doing um, first thing i started to promote it um, uh, among my family groups and uh, my friends and all of those people uh, and also my college groups so because i was creating content uh, which was catered towards college students and youngsters uh, that's why i was <coughs> like let's promote it in these college groups so that's the first thing that i did that gained me a lot of subscribers i think uh, i had 63 subscribers when i started doing that and uh, i reached to i think 200 250 subscribers with that um but in the start it's really difficult to get even that uh, big of a subscriber jump the second thing is um, all my uh, i would not say competitors uh, competitors but rather people who are creating content in the same niche i used to follow them uh, kept my notification bell turned on and whenever they used to post i used to be the first one to comment uh, watch their videos comment liked every single thing i used to be so engaging with those uh, content uh, with my competitors content uh, that they used to see the, these comments and they used to like it they used to heart it and uh, i was kind of like a part of those communities so uh, some examples would be i think um, who are creating content in the same niche is i think ishan sharma uh, curious harish was one of them um, ali abdal was there then there were a bunch of other creators as well whom i really looked up to and uh, you know they were also starting their channel and all so uh, i used to just comment and be the first one to be there so that gained me a lot of audience from their uh, particular subscribers and i have uh, one two questions more that uh, what is the difference between niche and category uh category category would be like a broad category for example um finance finance is a category right uh, yeah. in that finance uh, we have stock market we have stock trading even, even stock market is a category in stock market you have two types of people <clears throat> uh, investment based stock market uh, people uh, teaching based and then we have the traders which do live trading and all of those things so that is your niche niche means a category but which is really uh, narrow and you're trying to get that uh, specifics um, dialed down so in the start be with a cat be with a niche and then expand into the category right so always basically do that. niche means specialized category and category means broad perfect so the next question is from uh, ankit kumar please unmute yourself 
All right. So first of all, I really want to thank you for taking out time and engaging with us. Thank you. So I'm really thankful for that. So my first and the very basic question is, what is exactly content creation? So content creation is, it's like a, to be honest. Um, even I'm like. what is content creation it's creating videos creating content in the form of uh, blogs sometimes uh, there are content creators who are specifically based on uh, twitter so twitter content creators write small tweets and that's how they um, basically go viral and of sorts but it's i feel it's more of uh, giving value to the people uh, in any form for example in the entertainment space as well uh, if you're watching some vlogs you are uh, even if you're not learning something you are at least en- enjoying it so that is one kind of value that you're getting so content creation for me specifically it's giving value to the audience that's that's how i define it all right that 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 is a nice explain over me so basically let me tell you about me uh, i I'm more into learning skills and showing them to people and I like adding value to their life and everything. So for now I'm making music. So I think like I'm confused within a thing that shall I me so of my face or I just keep it secret for now on music. So um I I would say um face thumbnails uh, get a higher click through rate than uh, thumbnails which have no face the reason for this is because we we as humans trust uh, the other person more if we are able to see their face if we are able to see their expressions that's where we will trust that person but if it's just animations if it's just uh, that then people won't trust it um, too quickly and youtube game is all about trust if you see um, any of the big creators why are you clicking on their thumbnails and not some small creators thumbnails it's because you know that person and you know that that person creates better content than uh, this newbie so um it's all about trust um i would say in the start if you're going ahead with that maybe because you're not um, confident in front of the camera then it's okay but practice on it and i would highly recommend you to come in front of the camera because it will always uh, get you more growth क्या <laughs> but uh, no 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 uh, i i i would say it's not more about like uh, conveying emotions i would say it's um, more towards what is your goal as i said you know like if your goal is to um, create content for a target audience which um, does not know hindi uh, basically global audience then uh, you sh- there's no like point in creating videos in hindi um and if you want to target indian audience and you know uh, asian audience then i would say go with hindi so it's all about target audience but money is there in english i i would stick by it all right so can you tell me some healthy ways to promote my videos and all uh healthy ways to promote my video promote it so uh i'll give you actionable points uh go over to facebook um start searching for your niche what is your niche uh, music right uh, yeah like skill sharing my when i'm learning skill sharing that videos with uh, that how i learned who, and everything the process who are the top creators in your space um one is uh, seek his name is seek he's from france and not any other there are no others So first do yeah, that. I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll give you. Friends who make music and other kind of things, but specifically, what there is a YouTuber named Seek. He make uh, skill learning videos and all. So so I'll give you actionable points. No no. Uh, go over to your uh, Excel sheet. Write down at least twenty creators in your niche, um, and follow them all. Uh, keep the notification bell on and whenever they post comment over there uh, try to contact them through instagram or something and be in their you know uh, connection this way uh, you would 
see mm-hmm. that your growth happens automatically their audience starts following you uh, you keep on uh, your account keeps on being seen uh, in different uh, channels and all of those things so try to comment try to engage with your content is what i'll uh, what i'll say so uh, there is one more thing like uh, there is th- two things uh, uh, i have seen it uh, Here, throughout the YouTube thing, that uh, there are a few people who just don't really focus on description or any other thing. They are like too simple, one line thing, and they just focus on content. They yeah. create content and upload it. And there are other people who just focus on everything even more than their content. Hmm. So, so what is better or like? See, um, would it be bad for you if you focus on um, both the things? would it be bad for you uh not really it won't be bad for you but it would always be better if you you know focus on your um, mm-hmm. description and tags and all the things that youtube provides you to so fill in so like uh, being frank is better is oh uh, with you, your audience but, but it's not about being frank no being frank be be like frank in your every experience with everyone uh be frank in front of the camera no the description has nothing to do with being frank all right right thank you for for the answers yeah no worries thank you for answering that next comes uh, tejas chandra uh hello sir hey tejas that was a very great lesson you were giving us hey thanks man it's really useful I wanted to ask, how can we manage this content creation team and uh, school stuff in balance? Uh, school stuff. Okay. Um. So it's all about time management. To be honest, even I have not cracked it. <laughs> no one has cracked it. That's why you would see many of the content creators dropping their uh, college, uh, you know, midway, uh, dropping out, and uh, you would also see some content creators leaving their jobs. for this uh, to become full time content creators but uh, i would say it's a constant struggle um, if you really like doing this uh, do it as a hobby um, you anyway take out time for your hobbies right so this treat it as your hobby and uh, do it like that so it's all about priorities even i've not cracked the game of uh, time management to be honest thank you for answering that sir so the next question is from shreya tadadi yeah yeah shreya yeah. Yeah, so basically if i want to create blogs would i have to be more consistent or would it be mostly on quality uh consistency uh for answering this question um look at all the top creators in your niche um how frequently are they posting look at their schedule um look at the level of content that they are posting the quality and then uh, you can judge it by yourself so if they are posting say uh, every single day then try to post it every single day right um, with vlogs i've generally seen that uh, it creates a habit if you're posting every single day uh, everyone is like just waiting for okay when is shreya going to upload next they are just waiting for it so um, it helps in building that habit but uh, i feel like um, you can even go with weekly content if you want um uh, just see what the top creators in your niche are doing and uh, try to replicate that yeah okay thanks yeah. wonderful so the next question is from divyanshu dikshit uh, hey ali hey hi uh, hope you are doing well hi so uh, my question to you is that like uh, some people are very specific in terms of their field of creating content Hmm. but if i will see myself like i am more sort of a you know, multi faceted in many fields hmm. like i want to uh, teach also right post my poetry to po- means in many fields i want to grow my content yeah so what should be your suggestion for that like i should create a single channel for everything or what what should i do for that don't go with multiple channels that's the worst mistake that you would do because even managing one single channel is quite literally very very tough until and unless you have like a team uh, that is you know editing your videos and uh, scripting them and all of those things then managing two different channels is a task in itself so don't go with two different channels one channel keep it over there now experiment okay 
put out all types of content that you are interested in uh keep the category as i will post videos uh about whatever i learn and uh, i'll be sharing them with you guys so keep that as a category now what will happen is you will see some videos doing really well some videos not doing too well then you will know okay these are the categories which my audience likes and this is a category that i like anyways so focus down on that try to grow yourself in that particular niche because see without a niche your uh, channel growth would be quite stagnant uh, people would not know why should they follow you why should they subscribe to you because they would be guessing okay what is the next content that this guy is going to post um, they should know okay if he is posting about poetry the next video will all, all uh, also be about poetry and that's why i want to subscribe to his channel so uh, make sure you have a niche but first experiment try to see all the type of content that you can post and whichever gets the most amount of views whichever gets the most amount of engagement try to focus on on that question is how to overcome camera shyness camera shyness um do one thing do one exercise which is uh, so i used to do this uh, and this was specifically because i was not confident in uh, speaking in english hindi mein chalo ek bar main kar lu but uh, english mein thoda tough hota tha mere liye so what i used to do was every morning uh, when you wake up और मेरे यहाँ पे कैसा था आई वॉज सो शाय दैट आई वुडेंट इवन डू इट इन फ्रंट ऑफ माई पेरेंट्स सो माई पेरेंट्स यूज टू स्लीप एंड आई यूज टू कम इन फ्रंट ऑफ माई मिरो एंड जस्ट रिकॉर्ड माई सेल्फ सेंग वॉट एवर आई बी डूइंग फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ द डे फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर मैं स्कूल जा रहा हूँ और स्कूल uh, में कुछ काम करने वाला हूँ या uh, कुछ प्रोजेक्ट्स है कुछ नई चीज़ें हैं जो मुझे ट्राई आउट करनी है तो मैं बस रिकॉर्ड करता था खुद को जितना भी अटकू जो भी अटकू चलता है बिकॉज दिस वीडियो विल बी फॉर माई सेल्फ एंड देन मैं डिलीट कर देता था मेरे पास है भी नहीं एक भी वीडियोज वो वाली बट दिस इज़ वन थिंग दैट आई यूज टू डू विच हेल्प मी इन गेटिंग कॉन्फिडेंस एंड रिकॉर्डिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ वीडियोज तो वो चीज़ कर सकते हो थैंक यू सो मच यस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम मर्शा बलानी So I wanted to ask that I want to start a podcast um reading poetry of my own and by some famous writers and um I just wanted to know that in um you know in your experience do you suggest a youtube channel or more of uh, sticking to a podcast hosting platform like maybe spotify or something and if it's on youtube how can i make sure that my content is a bit interactive and not really passive so that people you know watch it through um you said poetry right yes many people from poetry nice um so this is quite a interesting niche because uh, till now i've not come across um, a lot of poetry content on youtube um maybe because i'm not searching for it enough but um, i feel that type of content uh, if you are doing it in a long form um, try to cut out some parts from those videos and uh, some really good parts cut it out and put it in short form content as well so uh, what would happen is and this has been uh, seen in various podcasts as well you might notice this that uh, first you are scrolling through instagram you are scrolling through your uh, youtube shorts you see a small clip from a podcast and then you start to in, uh, be inquisitive about okay why uh, where is this uh, podcast recorded and i want to see the entire video now so then you go over to the long form content you search for it and then you uh, land on the entire podcast so i would say use that same strategy wherein you're doing the entire podcast but then you're recording some small clips you're cutting out some small clips and then putting it out because see uh, right now everyone has a very short attention span uh, short form content will do really well but uh, for long long form content you really need that person to be so engaged in that uh, thing that it's quite literally impossible until and unless that person uh, knows that he'll get value from that uh, particular podcast so uh, in order to do that you can uh, edit out small clips put it as short form content and um, that's how you can go ahead with it thank you yeah great thank you the next question is from yukti and yukti and paridi 
are you in the meeting yes i am in the meeting i wanted to uh, i am yukti i wanted to ask that which are the best editing apps for editing the video and uh, for editing our intro and is it, it will it be a career will it be a powerful career will it will it be able to make us successful or there sometimes people say that there is a less success rate in this kind of content creation because you know uh, like uh, content creation is not that much successful mm-hmm. so we are said uh, not to like Uh, we are mostly like denied not to pursue this career mm-hmm. please advise us on over this yeah so for this i would say um yeah so um i have a very this uh, question that i uh, used to have when i you know was thinking about this um how many content creators do you know like in your group who have made it big like uh, your friends how how many around one or two one or two um how many people and they are making stable income i'm guessing um <clears throat> how many people do you know who are like engineers or doctors um in your particular friend group many many right um now how many times have you gone to a doctor uh, in order to you know do a check up or something like that in the last say one month two months once or twice once right how many times have you picked up your phone and seen that person's the your friends or uh, the person who has made some content uh, his person's um, videos many. how many times many times many right times. so there's a hu- you can clearly see there's a huge huge demand for content creation and there are not enough content creators right now so if you were to ask me content creation is to be honest for me uh, the safest way uh, for anyone to make a career and you can quote me on this but the reason why i say this is because there's a huge demand and there's not enough supply for it uh, whereas any other um, career that you take there's huge supply but not enough demand for it and uh, another thing that i would like to point out is the reason why we think that you know content creation is so uh, risky and all is because we only try it out for one year two years maximum that's it and then we just leave it for uh, getting your doctor degree or uh, say be- becoming an engineer how many years have you spent you've spent so many years in order to learn that craft um, and then you get paid that particular salary so spend that much amount of time in content creation as well and i'm pretty sure that you'll do well as well Best editing apps for editing our videos and intro. Uh, I use uh, Vita app on mobile phone and uh, on uh, this thing I use uh, DaVinci Resolve. But you can also use uh, Canva for the intro videos. And uh, some good softwares for uh, uh, making our uh, thumbnails. Thumbnails. Um, Photopea is an uh, alternate to um, Adobe Photoshop. So Photopea is available like photopea dot com. I'll just put put it on uh, chat. Thank you. Uh, Photopea is something that you can check it out. Wonderful, great. So thank you so much, Ali Solanki, for a very enlightening, knowledgeable, and entertaining presentation which you have given us. It was thank really you. interesting and inspiring. You have taken a lot of time from your busy schedule and you have answered almost all the questions and that way the interactive way you have shared screen and you have. Uh, really did that because even I did not only enjoy it but I felt it and you know the conference after watching you the content creation like it was really good uh, and now I feel that I'm, like even I can create content on YouTube as well as the participants feel that I guess you are very very super enthusiastic and you have been a very good mentor and a host so we are highly obliged for your acceptance time knowledge sharing and hosting we value your mentorship very much thanks thanks a lot from bottom of our hearts and you will parties. Uh, thank you a lot from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for uh, inviting me over, and it was a really wonderful session. Uh, loved interacting with everyone. Uh, thank you so much.